Hi, my name is Bill Curran, and I'd like to thank you for purchasing our custom-made children's rimless eyewear. Now, when you receive the eyewear, it's going to fit your child quite well. But from time to time, there might be a need to make minor adjustments to make for that perfect fit. Now, one of the first adjustments you might want to look at is fitting behind the ear. This is called the temple, the side piece here. This plastic part is called the temple tip. Now, generally on an adult frame, the bend for the temple tip is pretty much at a 45 degree angle. That's strictly for adults. Where with children, a little bit different. We like to have the temple tip bend almost completely around the back of the ear. It just makes for a more secure fit for the child. Now, as long as the frame is at room temperature, you can take this and with your thumb right where the temple tip meets the metal part of the temple, all you need to do is just bend this just a little bit to make a little bit more bend like that. So when you end up, you'll see it's got a nice even bend. Do the same thing to the other side. Now, if you find the frames are too tight, if the frame is plastered up against your child's face, or if they're pulling on the back of the ears, then we want to remove some of the bed. Once again, put your thumb and finger right where the temple tip meets the metal part of the temple, and just remove some of the bed. Just take a little bit of the bend out, just like that. When all said and done, the temple tip should just barely be touching the back of the ear. Now, with the bridge, there are two nose pads. The only part that should be touching the child's nose are the nose pads. The metal part, which we call the bridge, should not be touching the child's nose, just the nose pads. Now, if you find that the frame is sitting too high on the bridge of the nose, we want to drop it down. And we can do that by taking the nose pads and with your thumbs, just spread the nose pads out just a little bit. And that will drop the frame down. Now, if the reverse is the problem, if the frame is sitting down too far on their nose, then we want to bring the pads in. And just with your finger and your thumb, just bring each pad in just a little bit, just like that. And then try it on the child. You don't want to do too much at one time. Just do a little bit at a time. Try it on the child. So remember, we don't want the bridge to be touching their nose, just the nose pads. Bring the pads in to raise the frame up if it's sitting too low. If it's sitting too high, we want to spread the pads out so the frame drops down a little bit. The temples, we want a nice even bend going around the back of the ear. If it's too loose, just add a little bit more bend to it. If it's too tight, just remove some of the bend. Also, if when they're on your child's face, if the frame doesn't look straight, doesn't look level, just look at the temples. They both should be on the same plane. If one temple is up and the other one is down, then the frame will sit lopsided on the child's face. So in that case, what you want to do is put your thumb and your finger right where the temple meets the lens. Squeeze that tight just like that. And then what you want to do is take the temple and just raise, bend it up or bend it down so that when you look at the frame from the side, both temples, this temple and the other temple, are on the same plane. You don't want one up and one down. They both should be on the same plane. And like I say, once again, hold it where the temple meets the lens, finger and thumb, just like this. And you can just bend this temple down, or you can bend it up, just a little bit at a time. It doesn't take much to bend that down. And then try it on the child and make sure it's sitting square on their face. And parents, please instruct your child to always use two hands taking their eyewear off. And because the temples do wrap around the back of the ear, the child, it's important that they lift them up off their ears before they pull them forward and to always use two hands putting them on. It just keeps the frame and adjustment so much better that way. And because most of our business is by word of mouth, we always appreciate if you could write a short review or send some pictures to our Google Plus review or Facebook page. It's always appreciated. Thank you so much for your business.